Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this video, we're going to be connecting our transmitter to our computer using a cable that we make now. The first thing you'll need is going to be a headphone jack, just any cable will do. Then grab a USB cable, I'm just using an old one here. Next up, you're going to need the cable that came with your transmitter, sorry, receiver. Uh, go ahead and cut the USB cable to length. Uh, I've just chosen about four or five inches here. Then I'm going to use my vice grips to strip off the shielding. Once the shielding has been stripped off, we're going to pull back the um, shielding. Actually, we're going to pull back the shielding just like that. And uh, then you'll be left with four wires. Now, we don't actually need the green and white ones, but we do need the red and the black wire. So you can go ahead and cut off the green and white ones now. I'm just doing that with a pair of scissors like so. Once that's done, the next step is to tin our wires. So you can begin by tinning the red wire and then you can tin the black wire. And I've just done that like so and didn't touch my finger. <laughs> um, so yes, once those wires are tinned, go ahead and tin the wires on the connector cable that came with your or transmitters receiver. In this case, it's just a sort of three pin uh, connector. Um, now I'm marking off a, a length of the headphone jack and I've cut that to size. Then we're going to strip off the uh, plastic housing or shielding or whatever it's called. And then you'll be left with three cables inside. We need to find out which of these is connected to the tip of the headphone jack. That's the tip being the very last section of the uh, connector barrel. So once you've found that out, go ahead and snip off the other two. I'm just priming my soldering iron here with some solder and I'm going to go ahead and use that bead of solder that's on the iron to wipe off, or not to wipe off, sorry, to burn off the um, the uh, cotton that's sort of wrapping this wire here because it's too hard to, un it's too, it's too fine to unravel that by hand. So just go ahead and burn it off. Once that is done and the wire is tinned, make sure that it's got a good connection. I'm just using my uh, multimeter to do that. And we're going to connect those cables like so. It'll be the yellow cable goes to our headphone jack and the black and the red ones go to our USB. So I've connected black and red together just by lining those up on a 50 Australian cent coin for those that are wondering. And then we go ahead and connect the yellow wire to our headphone tip and make sure that that is all still connected with the multimeter. You want to make sure that this has a good connection because if it doesn't, then this probably won't work. So. I just continue testing, making sure that nothing is crossed over, making sure that all the cables each go to their own individual wire on the other end, I guess. Um, everything was good in my case, so we're going to take some tape. Um, I think I've got the yellow tape here. And I'm just going to cut a small section of that. And we're going to wrap these wires individually. So the way that I sort of do it is I begin by wrapping one. I fold it over two or three times. Then I go and I grab the next wire and I sort of bring it close and put it into the tape, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Um, ra wire wrapping, guys, come on. I didn't have any heat shrink, so I would have used heat shrink if I did. I didn't have any on hand, so just wiped this. Not wiped, sorry, wrapped. I have no idea what I'm talking about today. Um, so yes, once it's all wrapped, go and grab some more tape and we're gonna be doing some sort of strain relief this time. I'm using black tape to do that. Because we have two cables here, we don't want to have anything sort of tugging and pulling as the uh, system is in use. So I've taken some black tape and I'm just going to be wrapping the ends of those cables together just to give it some strain relief so it doesn't pull itself it doesn't pull itself apart. Now, once you have successfully used the entire roll of tape to uh, cover up all of the wires, I may have gone a little bit overboard here, you'll be left with a USB port on one end and a headphone jack on the other. And basically what this is gonna do, we're gonna be getting five volts to our transmitter uh, through the USB cable. As you can see, I'm just plugging that in here. Now it's very important that you plug this into the PPM output, not to the IBUS. Um, so I've got that plugged into PPM. You can see it plugged it into USB, five volts is being supplied to the board and now it is looking for the transmitter, which is great. Then all we need to do is connect our headphone jack to our microphone in port on our computer. If your computer is anything like mine, it will pop up and ask you, what did you plug in? And you can just tell it that you plugged a microphone in. Very easy. Then you need to download this piece of software. It's called Smart Propo Plus. And basically this will translate the incoming sound on the microphone port into gamepad controls. 
So I'm just arming my receiver here. You can see that the auto level is now at maximum and we have a good signal quality. And yeah, if all is done correctly, you should be wirelessly set up now to receive uh, transmitted transmitter controls. Very easy. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As you can see, I've got it working here. This is just a one-handed demo. Obviously, I can't fly. So I'll leave you with some footage of me flying within um, the Drone Racing League software now. Um, and I had to take the audio off of this, so I apologize for that. I just didn't want to get slammed with a copyright strike because you know how YouTube is and this game has background music. And, you know, if you play a game on YouTube and it has background music, you're probably going to get a copyright strike nowadays. So I thought it's safe just to turn the volume off. Instead, you get to listen to me talking in my best impression of LGR. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. LGR, if you don't know, is a awesome YouTuber, one of my favorites. Go ahead and watch him. Uh, no affiliation whatsoever. I just felt the need to bring that up. Um, so yeah, you can see me flying here throughout the DRL shipping yard. Um, not the world's greatest flyer. I've only just started getting into this, so I wanted to do some practice on the simulator before I actually take my actual FPV quad out and crash it into the side of a ship. Um, if, if I had access to such property, but I don't. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, this has been an extremely quick and information session on stuff and things. I don't know what I'm talking about. Please leave a like. I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.